today we're going to look at another little bit of Bulleria, and this is sort of a two-feel thing. I, uh, I talk a lot about how the Bulleria can be felt in threes, but can also be felt in twos, and there's probably fewer examples of the Bulleria really being felt for a long period of time in twos uh, outside of the Gante. So what we're going to look at today is a sort of traditional thing that Moraito in particular and Tomatito both use quite a bit, and it's just really fun. So it's this thing. It's... And there's a bunch of different ways to do it. We'll look at a couple of them. But the basic thing, rather than being phrased in threes, is actually phrased in twos, like I said. So we're doing 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 2, It's helpful if you can sort of learn to count rather than 12, 1, 2, 3, to also count 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another way to think of it as 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because it's really the second half of the compas being repeated, right? That 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 over and over. So either way, if you think about it, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that works. Or six where the 12 would be instead of so that would be 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 6 7 8 9 10 11 6 7 8 9 10 11 6 7 8 10 11 6 7 8 9 10 11 6 7 8 etc right or 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 So the right hand clearly is doing 6, 8, 10, 6, 8, 10. The second half of the compas and the basic right hand pattern that I keep referring to is what we're doing. Da, 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 every six beats. Uh, so the melody is happening over, or rather under, because it's in the bass notes. This thing that we're always holding on to when we're por medio, we're here all the time with the B flat and the D. So pinky on the third fret of the second string, ring finger on the third fret of the third string. And the melody, fourth string, open, fourth string, second fret, fourth string, open, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, open, fifth string, third fret, fifth string, first, third, first. And then we hit A on six, seven, eight, and nine, and 10, or six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We can resolve any way we know how to resolve from six to 10, but we're, that last A is right on six. So the only kind of tricky thing is bringing out the bass notes. Uh, and the only kind of tricky bass note to bring out is when we're doing, s right? We just don't want to do, we don't want it to sound like this. So it's really six, and then we're not hitting the fifth string, we're just hitting the fourth string, and then the fifth string again, and then da 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 and that's your six. Now, one thing you'll see me do a lot is da 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 back to the same six as it would be. The simplest way is this, with the right hand doing. So there's a bunch of variations uh, that you could do. One that I like is 12 and one and two and three and four, five, six and seven. It's fun with triplets. And finally, you can 
kind of do it all triplets, which would sound like this. So that would be this. 12 and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1, and 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Finally, you can use this two feel with other left hand things. And you might hear a lot of this. That's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you could even just stay on one chord. 12, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, The more you get used to this two feel, the more options you have when you're playing compas to sort of break the standard patterns that you already know. It just gives you more options when you're playing your compas.